Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day. It is Monday, I think it's still morning, I don't know. But anyway, it's a nice, beautiful 60 degree day. Uh, very windy, but still beautiful. So I just got out of the vet. I was here to pick up uh, Gypsy's monthly heart guard and neck guard for heartworm and flea and tick prevention. So we give that to her every month. And a couple weeks ago, we got her three-year rabies and distemper shot. So she's good to go on that. So she's uh, doing well. Uh, she did throw up a couple times yesterday. Might have been feeling under the weather, weather, but she seems to be okay today. So we'll see how today goes. Um, yeah, so we'll see how she does today. All right, so we'll be spending some time outside and... Uh, that kind of good stuff. So stay tuned and thank you for joining me in my day. Okay, everyone. So um, I am making a pork chop casserole for tomorrow. So today is Monday night. I'm making this for Tuesday. And I'm going to make the casserole tonight and just warm it up in the hot logic tomorrow. That way I don't have to worry about making it tomorrow. <laughs> so what I'm doing is just browning some pork chops that we received from the pantry. And I already have potatoes, carrots, and onions all cut up. So as soon as these are brown, we'll get the casserole put together. Alright everyone, so I just browned the pork chops a little bit, uh, so let's just put this casserole together, and I don't know if you get a better view that way, alright, um, I'm just going to put the pork chops at the bottom, so uh, we were going to grill these pork chops out, but uh, we had a couple of changes this week, and uh, or over the weekend or whatever, and we still haven't had our s'mores so, but I'm going to try to get that done tomorrow night. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put the pork chops, pork chops at the bottom. Let me grab my potatoes and carrots. I've got my potatoes and carrots here. All right. And actually, besides the seasoning seasoned salt and pepper, you can call this a complete food pantry meal because the uh, uh, pork chops are from the pantry, the carrots are, the potatoes are, because um, I've taken potatoes from the pantry over the weeks, and this onion came from the pantry last week. So even though I, uh, no, I haven't bought any potatoes this week, so these are the potatoes I grabbed from the pantry. All right, so we got that. Potatoes, carrots, onions, pork chops, and we're going to just throw a little bit of seasoning on there. I did season the pork chops uh, when I was uh, browning them. And then I'm just going to add some seasoned salt. And now I'm going to add, I'm going to start off with one can of tomato soup. And I'll see if I need another. pepper got to me. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw another can of uh, tomato soup on this side over here. So again, um, I'm making this for tomorrow night and I'll just cook or uh, warm it up, keep it in the hot logic throughout the day and supper will be done. All 
All right, so now I'm just going to cover it, throw it in the oven. I have it at 350, and it should take uh, between one and two hours. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Whenever your carrots and potatoes and onions are soft, um, most likely your pork chops will be done at that point. So that's how long it takes. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cover this and get it in the oven. Okay, everyone, so now it's Tuesday morning. And I'm doing a voiceover because I originally was going to record this meal as the start of a Meals We Ate video, but I really don't want to overwhelm myself by working on several different videos at one time. I just like to focus on the daily videos. So I'm just going to include the meals with the daily videos instead of working on a Meals We Ate video. So you probably won't see one of those types of videos for a while if at all i'll just be doing my daily vlogs all right so this tuesday morning i just made myself a bowl of cream of wheat we used to eat cream of wheat all the time when we were kids we grew up on cream of wheat and oatmeal along with toast and that's why i made myself toast my dad used to make this for us all the time and we used to dip our toast in the cream of wheat and oatmeal this was a treat for us. This was more like a, a nighttime dessert for us. We actually, I don't think, really ever had it for breakfast. It was more of a nighttime snack for us. And every time my dad yelled throughout the house, who wants cream of wheat? Uh, you would hear all of us yelling, me. <laughs> so yeah, this was really good. And so I thought I'd make myself some cream of wheat. Um, Glenn doesn't like these types of breakfast, but I do. So uh, since he's in the trailer still, I get up earlier than he, he does, so I decided to make myself a breakfast. And this was really good. It's been a long time since I had cream of wheat. The cinnamon went really well with it. And yes, I did dip my toast in the cream of wheat. So this is what started off Tuesday, uh, Tuesday's daily vlog. All right, everyone. So it is... 12 o'clock, 12.07 in the afternoon. And now I'm going to start warming up the casserole that I made last night. It, I made it, I don't know about what time, 8 o'clock or so last night. And I made it for today. So now I'm putting it in the hot logic. It's already in there. And now I'm just going to cover it, plug it in, and let it do its thing. And it'll be nice and hot. For tonight's supper so I am so happy I got that done and now I don't have to worry about supper it might not look appetizing but it is very appetizing there's three pork chops on the bottom there we've got the potatoes the carrots the onions and two cans of tomato soup and it took like two hours to uh, finish cooking or baking so all right so I'm gonna get this warmed up and for lunch we are having cheese fries I'm going to make some more uh, homemade french fries because we got some more cheese in our cans. So we're just going to have that for lunch. All right. And I am working on a video while well, editing so I can get it uploaded today. And the video I'm actually doing right now with this and lunch and everything is for the next video. All right. So yeah, I've got a couple of things going on here. All right. So let me get to it and start making lunch. All right, everyone. So here goes another voiceover. So uh, going back to not overwhelming myself with working on several different types of video at one time, uh, as my ambience videos and my bird cam videos, I think I'm going to go on the same lines as that. Um, I don't know if I'll post like the long hour ambience or bird cam videos. What I might do is just attach some, you know, a, a nature video, a short nature video at the end of my daily vlogs. They won't be long, so if you want to watch them at the end of the vlog, you can. If you don't, you don't have to, obviously. But I think that'll be a lot easier for me and less stressful trying to do all kinds of videos for the channel. So, yeah, I'll still include nature, but it'll just be shorter uh clips at the end of the videos um 
at this video I put it at the beginning just something when we took our uh, country drive uh, just ended up at Lake Michigan there so I hope you understand that it it'll just be easier for me and I won't have to worry about doing three or four different types of video for the channel that'll just free up more time to do like other things uh, crafting and things that I haven't done in a while so so here obviously I'm just cutting the potatoes for the french fries for our uh, cheese fries for lunch but yeah that's all I wanted to say so uh, on with the video all right, everyone, so French fries are done. I already took Glenn his fries with his jalapeno cheese, and I've got my French fries here, and I have no shame. I'm just going to dip right out of the can. So that's what we're having for lunch. As you know, supper's already being warmed up. I'm going to sit down and watch a Christmas crafting video and then get back to editing a video to upload today. All right, so stay tuned for the rest of today. All right, everyone, so it's uh, 4.30 now, and it's almost dark. <laughs> it's hard to uh, believe that, but uh, yeah, it's 4.30. I am actually just making a box, Pillsbury box chocolate fudge brownie mix. Um, so I'm just throwing my own walnut, walnuts in there. So I just checked on the pork chop casserole that's in the Hot Logic. It's nice and hot. So that's going to be ready. Um, yeah, so this, uh, this time change where it gets dark early. So there's pros and cons to that, actually, for me at least. Con is definitely uh, that it gets dark early. <laughs> uh, too much of a con there. But for me, like I just said, it's 4.30. It's already getting dark, so it seems so much later to me. But it's still early. <laughs> So that's the pro for me at least that's the way I look at it when you think it's late and it's not it's almost like you gain time <laughs> so so anyway hope your week is going well so far um I just uploaded and made public that uh, video of 11 things I don't buy anymore um, it took longer than I expected to get done so I created and edited and edited the voiceover all today and got it uploaded today so it's nothing i had already done that i just needed to upload no i had to create the whole thing today so i was quite unprepared and uh it took more time than i expected so i haven't gotten things done that i wanted to today but that's okay i'll still get some stuff done but whatever I don't get done today, tomorrow's another day, right? You always got to look at it that way. No need to stress about it. It'll still be there tomorrow. But yeah, I'm just going to make this brownie. Something quick. I wasn't quite sure what to make tonight um, for dessert. And like I said, that video took me longer than expected, so I wasn't prepared to do anything else then. All right, I'm going to spray my uh, dish and get this cooking. So, I haven't done much else today but do that video. All right, so I'm going to get this done, and uh, later tonight we'll have brownies, I guess. <laughs> so... All right, so stay tuned. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing next, but I'm doing something. There's the oven. All right, everyone. So here is our supper for this Tuesday night. Uh, it's what I made last night, but I have been warming up in the Hot Logic all day long. That is a pork chop right there. And I put two cans of tomato soup, carrots, potatoes, onions, and that is it. So... I'm going to sit down and have supper. Okay, so in a little while, I'm going to have some friend mail to share with you. So stay tuned for that. The video is not over. All right, everyone. So I want to share some friend mail with you. So I'm going to go over that. Um, but I wanted you to see the 
setup I have here uh, post Halloween and still in the fall mode until Thanksgiving. So I'll show you all of this when I'm done with the friend mail. So, so yeah, let's get on to the friend mail. Okay, so I've got three, three friend mails to share with you. Two of them, I have physical items. The third one, we will have a physical item, but I'll tell you about that, okay? So the first item, uh, friend mail comes from Slor. Uh, that's her YouTube name, so I won't say her real name because I'm not sure if she wants me to or not. I didn't ask, so I'll just stick to the YouTube name. Uh, Slor sent this, and this is pepper gel, uh, like pepper spray. But uh, this was in my Amazon wish list, and Slor ordered it from that, and it came to me like I don't know a day or two later. But this is pepper gel. And this is much better than pepper spray because when you spray pepper spray, it like mists back at you. It, it could. Uh, this is gel, so it's not going to mist back at you. Uh, this is a highly rated pepper gel. And we had that on our wish list because uh, one, when we take Gypsy for walks, uh, we've come across aggressive dogs in their yards but if any aggressive dog would ever come at us we had nothing to protect ourselves with or gypsy so yes we will pepper spray or pepper gel uh an aggressive dog who might bring harm to us or gypsy so thank you so much slore uh we really appreciate this we've been carrying it with us every single day so the other thing is when I go on, um, when I run errands and I go by myself, um, I take something else, but I don't carry it in my pockets because I wear like thin shorts and it would, it would, <laughs> it would pull my shorts down basically. So this is going to be awesome to carry around. Um, when I run errands, I'll be carrying that around with me. Because you don't know, you just don't know what could happen. Um, thank God nothing has happened, but there's always a first time and you don't know. The other thing is, when I take Gypsy out at night, we go in the front yard. It's pitch black. We have no street lights or nothing. I usually have a flashlight and a little protection, but I also now carry this, pepper gel. Um, I definitely would recommend... This is highly recommended, and uh, I so much appreciate this. Thank you, Slore. Thank you so much. So, yes, loving that. Okay, so this next friend mail uh, is not a physical item yet. This is the one I'm going to tell you about, and it will be a physical item later. So, when I was at Walmart in one of my last videos talking about I would like for us to get a Christmas tree this year. Um, this person, this friend mail comes from Mimi Juling. And Mimi donated a significant amount for us to get a, a Christmas tree and some, you know, whether it be lights or ornaments or whatever. But she donated a significant amount so we can have a real Christmas tree. <sighs> Mimi, thank you so much. Thank you doesn't even seem like enough. And I mean, all of you touch us so much when you... When you just your your support and everything, your gifts and your donations. And we wouldn't have a lot of stuff that we do if it weren't for you. Um, but Mimi, Mimi wanted us to have a real Christmas tree. And we wanted a real Christmas tree. And she donated a, 
a sign uh, I won't say the amount of donation, but she donated a significant amount where it would be no problem to get a Christmas tree, a real Christmas tree. So thank you so much, Mimi. It means so much to us um, that you guys think of us this way. Um, yes. When it happened, when the donation came through, I, I was in tears. And Glenn was in a trailer at the time, and it was morning. And I called him, and I told him, we are getting a tree this year, and we're getting a real one. And I could tell that he had broke down in tears also because... The radio went silent. There was no, nothing on his end. So I knew he, he had broken down in tears as well. So thank you so much, Mimi. I don't, I don't know how to thank you and thank all of you. Just saying thank you doesn't seem enough for this, um, that you guys think of us this way. So thank you so much. And when we go get a tree, I'm going to bring you guys along um, so you can see us looking for a Christmas tree. We haven't done that in so many years. The only time we ever had a Christmas tree, it was my first two years here in Wisconsin. So that was uh, 2004 and 2005 Christmas. Um, I got here in January, no, 2003 and 2004. I got here in 2003 in January. So 2003, December and 2004 would have been our only Christmas trees uh, that we ever got. And after that, we had rescued some kitty cats, which Blackie and Prissy, um, and there was a third one. And we once we got the cats, we never got a tree again. And we don't know why. We we thought they were going to destroy the tree, climb up to the tree. We we had never had cats. Well, Glenn did growing up, but we had never had cats. So we didn't know how that was going to be. And it just became a thing every year that we didn't get a tree. And we always say we want a tree and we never get it. So this year we're getting a tree. So thank you so much. And yeah, it means the world. It means the world to me and Glenn. And we said, whatever happens, happens. If if they climb up the tree, then let them climb up the tree. You know, they're 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 animals. They're gonna be curious. So, oh, it's overwhelming. Um, in a good way, of course. Um. So, yeah. We just, we're very blessed. And uh, yeah, so when we go get a tree, you guys are going to come with us. Um, so when we got our first two Christmas trees, we actually cut them down. We went to tree farms. <laughs> and I have a funny story about the second one. The first one, uh, we both, you know, we walked around the whole, back then Glenn could still walk. Um but we walked around the whole tree farm. But the second one, uh, by that time, Glenn's legs and back weren't very well anymore and he couldn't really walk. So I went to the tree farm alone. Well, he was in the truck, but <laughs> I walked in the tree farm and I got lost in the tree farm. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I went and got our tree and I got lost just a little bit. I lost my way around the trail there <laughs> and uh yeah so glenn never lets me live that down <laughs> so yes i got lost in the christmas tree farm <laughs> so but yes i think we can go cut the tree down again this year uh he has a scooter so we can take the trailer if there's no snow and he could ride his scooter in the tree in the tree farm with me and that way we could both be there when we get the tree so hopefully we can do that. But thank you. Thank you so much for this kindness from all of you. Thank you, Mimi. And uh, 
So, slower, Mimi, and the next one I'm going to show you, uh, this person I'm not going to name because she has sent us numerous gifts in the past and asked not to be recognized. But you know who you are. I know who you are. And thank you so much. Uh, this was, if it wasn't enough that, that the others were surprises, because even the spray gel, that was a surprise. I didn't know that was coming. Um, so, and then the donation. And this one also uh, was dropped off dropped off and we didn't know it was coming either so let me show you what the third one is so the third one Christmas lights multicolored Christmas lights just like I said that we like the colored Christmas lights so this person ordered lights and had them sent to us Oh, not just one, but two, mm -hmm. three, four, and five. Five hundred colored lights for the Christmas tree. Thank you so much. You guys, you guys touch us so much, touch our hearts. Oh, I, I honestly don't know what to say. And like I said, thank you doesn't seem like near enough. But I want to also thank a couple other people. Chelsea, Chelsea emailed me also and wanted to donate uh, to a Christmas tree. And by that time, we had received a donation from Mimi. And I let Chelsea, because I want to be honest with you, I don't want to just, you know, let you donate if we already had a donation to cover a tree. So I let Chelsea know somebody, another subscriber made a, a donation, which would be enough to, would be more than enough to get a tree. So I let Chelsea know, but she did asked to donate so thank you so much Chelsea uh, we appreciate it so much and again Slor uh, made a donation on buy me a coffee um, saying to help get a Christmas tree and again by that time we had received a donation and I let her know offering to return her donation because we had one already um, but she said just put it towards other Christmas things. So thank you guys so much. Glenn thanks you from the bottom of his heart, as do I. Um, he was in tears. He was all choked up. I, I know there's, I've always known there's good people out there and I tried to, make Glenn see that because he hasn't always seen the good in people so this community really has shown him that even not not just the the donations and you know the the money the gifts the food but just like you guys said prayers for him for his back and and everything and you guys show him that there is good people out there and he didn't always believe that and i always knew that that there was good people out there you this community on this channel is amazing amazing and i couldn't have asked for a better community on this channel and again, not just because the gifts and the and donations and the food you send, just the positivity on this channel. I don't allow any negative comments to stay. If you guys ever wonder about that, if I see someone make a negative comment to me, that's just you're trying to stir up the pot 
So I delete them right away. I don't even play around with it. This, this community will stay positive. And if somebody doesn't like something, you're free to exit the channel. You know, that's the way I see it. But I will not allow any negativity to come to this channel whatsoever. Not when I have you guys that are so good to us in the support you show the channel. I know you guys are watching the ads and I thank you so much for that. Things are getting better. And uh, my goal for this channel is to make it where I can consider it an income to help the household. I mean, it is right now the what I get, but not only to help the household, but I want to give back to the community and to you guys by having giveaways and stuff when I can afford it. But I want to give back to those who are in need, to the food pantries and those that are hungry and are veterans. So I apologize for getting all teared up and choked up, but everything just means so much to me. You guys do. So thank you for everything to all of you and to you guys that are going to allow us to have a Christmas tree and make it easier on us. So thank you so much. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you. Okay, so I'm going to show you the rest of my uh, decorations I put up for fall and Thanksgiving. I don't have much, but I did what, what I could and try to be a little creative, okay? So I'm going to wipe away my tears right now and I'm going to turn the camera to the decorations, okay? So again, thank you so much. Okay, so I'm going to bring you a little closer over here so you can see what I've done. I took the orange, well, they're kind of a peachish color uh, fairy lights from the Halloween table. And I strung them all around here under the cabinets. And you could see all the way up there, all the way over here. Oops, sorry and all the way over here under these cabinets. So you could see, uh, you've already seen this stuff here, but I took, uh, this is just like a little bell. This is, uh, oh, this is Glenn's thermos. Um, usually about 10 o'clock at night, I usually take him some coffee in his thermos and whatever uh, snack we're having or for dessert or whatever. So that's why that's there. But you could see I taped some leaves to the wall there uh, just because I have a whole bunch of those uh, fake like vinyl leaves or whatever. So I just put them on there. Uh, I don't think I've ever done that, but I just kind of try to be creative with the little bit I have for this. And then I put some more leaves up here and I got a big maple leaf there, the sign. Over here, I just put a harvest time thing and this is my happy Thanksgiving and I put a stringer of leaves there and then I don't know if I showed you that the pumpkin up there I think I have and over here I did the same thing tape some leaves up here and so over here I tape leaves under there <laughs> under there one fell down already but I put the fairy lights all over here and these two, they have those, uh, these were on the hutch and years ago I put those orange and black peanut butter kisses in there just cause they're like for fall and they've been in there for <laughs> like forever. I don't know how many years and got our turkey back there, little pumpkins. So and the tablet I always keep there in case I watch like uh, videos or something while I'm in the kitchen. 
and got some more leaves around here and that's just a bluetooth speaker and my little birds here wood wood carved birds but that's uh that's what i've done for thanksgiving and the rest of fall um it is still the season so i don't want to rush everything into christmas but i just wanted to show you what i've done there so yeah And in the living room, in the living room, um, I really, I still have the fall decorations on the wall, like the other big maple leaves and a couple other fall things. On the holiday table, I'm probably going to start putting the Christmas village up because I don't have any decorations for fall for that. So I'll start fitting in a couple Christmas things. But the hutch will stay fall. Um, so yeah, we're just going to have a little mixture. But the kitchen is definitely going to stay fall in Thanksgiving. So yeah, that's my decorations for the rest of the season. Okay, everyone. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm sorry I uh, choked up and cried on you, but uh, I really am grateful to you. And I appreciate all your support from everyone and the comments and just continuing to support the channel just by watching my videos and subscribing and commenting and watching the ads. Um, so if you're not subscribed, please do so. Again, it doesn't cost you anything. And share this channel with those you might think might enjoy it. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself and be good to others. Until next time.